So in this video I'm going to show you how the IPsec VPN works. So the IPsec VPN will basically, well, this is one side, side A, and this one is side B of the IPsec VPN, and I will make sure that these networks here, 192.168.130.1 or 0 slash 24, can talk with um, this network here, 192.168.14.1. So, first of all, in order to configure the IPsec part, um, we need to go to, well, we need to go to the correct edge gateway, and we need to go to VPN, and then IPsec VPN. You can see that the service is enabled right now. Um, there's a piece of global configuration that you can create uh, or need to set up so you have a pre-shared key my pre-shared key is, or is just the word pre-shared key and um, well these are just uh, I will just leave this default for now so well because you can see here my pre-shared key is pre-shared key and um, well this is one of the global configuration settings that you need to uh, set Another uh, one is, well, what you need to set up is you need to set up the IPsec peers or uh, the IPsec settings. So you enable the service, give it a name, you have your local IP address, which is your outside IP address, which is um, facing to the outside network. Um, this is also your local endpoint and this is your local sub subnet that you want to be able to well send through the the IPsec tunnel. Um, you also have a pure IP address. Let me get the drawing here, which is this address here. It's another network, 10.10.109.100, which is going to be well the other side of the of the IPsec tunnel, and um, also the endpoint address. Um, and the subnet that that endpoint is actually hosting. So the encryption algorithm that I want to use is AES and a pre-shared key, which is pre-shared key. Okay, so a Diffie-Hellman group, DH2, and you hit OK. It's already configured here, so what I will do right now is show you the other side. So in order to show you the other side, I will have to hop on Telnet um, ten dot ten dot one hundred. Is that the correct IP address? It's not. It's one nine. So nine. So if I do a show IP interface brief, you will see the loopback address here configured, which is my network, well, this side of the network, and this is just my uh, my out, my IP address that's connected to the, to the network. Um, let's do a show run very quick, and I can show you, well, that I configured a crypto policy with a peer address and the crypto map of course and the transform set which is doing AES and uh, you can see my IP addresses I bound the crypto map to the physical interface and I've set up a static route where I basically want to set this network I want to send it no sorry I've set up a static route here, yeah, um, where I want to, uh, where I, if I want to reach this network, I need to go to that IP address here. And this access list is what we know when we set up uh, an, a VPN tunnel, where we have your local address uh, space and your remote address space, and that that's the traffic that's going through the tunnel. So um, let's do a ping test. And I want to reach the 192.168.14.1. And as you can see, my ping is successful. Let me do a re repeat 100. 
so you can see and if I go to show crypto you will see that my tunnel is up and running so we can also test to well go to the database host and it's the DB01 where are you at here let's open the console c connection to, to that host and so well, you can see I've done it earlier but I can do it again and I can do a ping to that uh, well 192.168.130 network and you can see that it well it will give me a re reply back so you can also verify the VPN settings if you go to show IPsec statistics if you click on this here you can see the tunnel status and the tunnel state and in the tunnel state you will see up and down you will see one up and you will check here and well zero down so there's one tunnel actually uh, up and you can see the local endpoint the pure endpoint and you can see the tunnel state here which is also checked